It's probably worth explaining how Oldham Council got to the point of actually signing the Pledge to Peace because it's a common misconception that it's actually the Mayor that signs the, the initiative. Um, in Oldham, essentially, the process started when uh, Maria Ellis asked a couple of questions in Oldham Council's public meetings around would the Council support our initiative to have a, an annual Oldham Peace Day event and would it also support the Pledge to Peace initiative. Um, from that, we had a number of discussions with a uh, designated lead councillor on that issue and because I also work within the local authority as a policy officer I was able to write a paper uh, supporting the proposal that went to the leaders of all the main political parties and was approved. Following that process of internal discussions and consideration of a policy paper the council actually eventually approved a formal resolution that it become a signatory of the Pledge to Peace in April of 2015. And then it was actually the chief executive who's the lead officer rather than the lead elected member of the council who actually signed the initiative in, in July, making Oldham the first and so far only UK local authority to sign the Pledge to Peace. So it's actually very much up to the local authority to determine who signs the Pledge to Peace on its behalf.